Hi guys! Today I'm going to teach you how to create your own website using Weebly. So first, um, you have to, <clears throat> just in case you don't have an account yet with Weebly, you just have to sign in or sign up um, by clicking this um, sign up button. And you just have to supply all the needed information such as full name, email and password and in my case i already have it so all i'm gonna do is type in my email address and then my password so log in And there you go. So depending on the speed of your internet, um, it will take uh, just a little while. So here you are, well, this is just an offer. If you want to have your site upgraded and you want to buy your own domain, so you could either choose um, these, either of these plans, like the performance, wherein you're gonna pay um, per month a uh, fifty nine dollars, or per year um forty nine dollars per month. While what I'm going to teach you now is just the free um, use of Weebly. So here um. You could create a new site. You could just add site. Click the add site. And so you just have to think what your site will be. Is it the purpose of the site? Is it for online store? So we have various templates here. Like that. Or is it for business so there are templates that would fit um, your requirement or either portfolio wherein you're gonna showcase all your like your artworks your pictures that you took either personal or an, an event or you just want to put up a blog so let's say you're putting up a blog for recipes for your organic recipes you may choose that theme It's now loading. There you are. And once you choose this, you just have to start editing. But let's take a look first of the entire template. So there's an introduction of the author. And here you can showcase the different recipes that you have there and then you could start editing subdomain of your own subdomain name like when you're like for this um, organic recipes let's try organic recipes dot wibbly dot com but then it's taken already so maybe we could try
to my healthy recipes. Or let's say, put your name. Anna's Healthy Recipes. .weebly.com Or eventually, you could upgrade and register the domain. So, you could check if if your domain would be available in oh no not that so it's available so if you want it to go full blast you could already register the domain but for the meantime let's just use the free so it's Anna's healthy recipes dot weebly dot com and there um, we could already edit it so this one is actually an image so if you click that delicious um, thing there it's uh, an image not uh, a text so if you want to replace it like this there are some options you could upload from your computer I don't have a picture for for that for a food so I think we better use that so let's not remove that and you could edit this so this is a text you could like put your site um, Anna's healthy recipes there you could also put your logo if ever you have and then here you could also edit this you could choose um, different fonts mm, and then let's go down So here you could also edit this you want to you would like to put your name here uh, your picture here and in here you could personalize it and here of course the recipe that you want that the picture of the recipe that you are going to show and then you could drag some we may go here to the blog so as you can see the there is still no picture yet or text so here about the author you could put your details here in the author section and for the first blog post so just click this new post down here on the right side of the screen so new post and then you could put the title um, like beef steak and then you could put the image here drag and put there an image of a beef steak.
So you just have to upload a picture and then put the recipe. Drag the text down here. It's taking too long. So So you have the details here. You could choose to have it centered or on the aligned at the left right side or justified. There. So let's say you decide to have it centered. You could also, you have also the option to edit, to change the color of the font, to like increase or decrease the size of the font here, to underline or make it bold or italic. And this is a create link button wherein if you want like for this words you want it you want to create a link to another website or a standard page that you have you could have it like for let's say here you want to link this back to home then you could have it click that So you could see that the color changed and then when you are done you could post options click the post options and then okay. you could choose categories let's say the categories is um, beef steak Another is healthy. And then once you're done, you could click the post button. Then your post has been added to your blog page but it is not yet live you will need to publish your site for users to view your blog post so just click publish then you're you're ready to go there continue so if you want to check let's see here So you can see here your subdomain anashealthyrecipes.webly.com So here is your site's name and then home. Let's check the blog, the sample blog that we did. So beef steak, it doesn't show any picture because we did not put but this is the text and this is the link that we did. When you click it, it will go back to home so as easy as that I hope I was able to help you guys to put up your blog site using wibbly.com it's very easy um, very user-friendly and it's not so difficult to to create one so if you want more useful tips on how to set up an online business or a blog post just subscribe to my channel and click that um, bell button thank you and have a good day